So uh, show him some love. Our next comedian coming up to the stage. Please give a big round of applause for Sean Guest. I'm not excited to see you motherfuckers either, so I guess it's okay. Now, uh, to be honest with you guys, I think I'm starting to build a prejudice, uh, but it's towards like one niche group of white people and they're not Jews, so I'm pretty sure I'm allowed to. Uh, can I greet people in the house tonight? I know we're close to your headquarters. All right, my Greeks. Okay. If not, just so you know, uh, I hate your fucking parents. Uh, the thing I hate is uh, middle-aged to elderly, Greek small business owners. Uh, if you were one of those, you could see me in the parking lot after the show, pussy. Uh, I, I deal with them a lot at work, and uh, there's not much to like. They're very rude, uh, ignorant, nasty, mean. Uh, they have the breath of like a 15-year-old chihuahua that only eats cat shit. And uh, they're always trying to get me in trouble, and I just don't get it. I mean, they're the ones that invented pedophilia, I'm pretty sure, you know? And uh, I don't like that. I'm against that. So, uh, like, if it were up to me, they'd get re-enslaved by the Turks. And uh, I hope they all get, you know, exposed for all those busboys and dishwashers that they turned into eunuchs. And if you don't know what that is, give it a goog. Um, yeah, you see, there's one in particular, just this real mean, nasty you-know-what. And uh, she tried to get me in trouble at work. And... I'm the kind of guy, like, I, I don't smack hoes, but I do get revenge one way or another. Like, so what I did is I went to the local middle school, and uh, I, I hang out there a lot, if you can't tell by my mustache, and uh, I recruited a couple of these kids, and what I did is I, I get them to, uh, I give them a bunch of cat poop, and uh, I get them to smear it all underneath the, the door handles of every car in this, this woman's establishment, and then a couple times a week I have them call and order, like, eight pizzas and then just never come get it so i'm helping feed the homeless hopefully but this mean lady she probably throws that shit out you know but uh don't worry about them kids i do compensate them i get them the three things that all middle schoolers want which is uh you know tall boys preferably pbr uh winstons or camel crushes and then also uh you know every middle schooler's got a gun nowadays so i buy them bullets too well, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm on an ATF watch list nowadays after that. Now, um, yeah, sorry about that rant. I'm just, I'm just having some, some trouble at work and taking it out on, on the Greek people, so I apologize to you guys. Uh, you know, I, I don't know what's going to make you guys laugh. Like, I'm not from here. I didn't grow up doing all the cool shit you get to do growing up down here. Like, never wrestle an alligator. And, I've never been asked to leave Publix, you know? I've, uh, I never starred on an episode of Live PD, and never done meth on purpose. You know, we all make mistakes. Uh, I, I've never narcan either of my parents, despite what those signs on Little Road say. And uh, I, I wasn't raised by my grandparents, so I'm sorry, guys. We probably don't have much in common, you know? But I'll, I'll try to find something we can relate to real quick before I, before I get down here. Uh, you see, I've... I, I, I'm gonna be honest with you, it's been a bad week at work. The other day I pooped my pants at work, yep, and it got me thinking. Um, you know, pooping your pants is kind of like, uh, it's very similar to hooking up with an elderly lady. Uh, it's, there's a lot of things in common, you see, like it's something embarrassing that you would never want like your friends or family to find out about. Uh, it usually leaves like a big mess. There's some waddling involved. Uh, usually someone should be wearing depends in that situation and uh, but the thing is about it like no matter how nasty or gross you think that is like when it's in the moment and it's actually happening you feel that warm sensation come over your body <laughs> it feels pretty good okay so uh, i'll leave you guys on this i got i got a tip for the fellas out there if you uh you know want to do some gay shit but you don't want your friends to judge you just do drugs first, okay? Like seriously, like if you uh, if you do ecstasy with all your boys, no one's gonna bat an eye when you start rubbing their backs. Uh, 
you do enough heroin, you can not out face first right into a dude's lap. Uh, if you take enough mushrooms or acid, uh, a penis looks just like a popsicle. And if you get a bad enough addiction to crack, uh, taking it up the butt's just a cheap way to score some rocks. So thank you guys. Uh, tip your bartenders and use those tips if you feel necessary. Have a great night. And if you're Greek, I'll see you outside. <laughs> One more time for Sean, everybody. Yeah. He's going outside to.